CapCut is a powerful video editing tool, but sometimes updates can introduce changes that disrupt your workflow. If a new version removes a favorite feature or alters the interface in an inconvenient way, downgrading to a previous version may be the best solution. Fortunately, CapCut often retains older versions in its installation directory, making it possible to revert without downloading files from unreliable sources. And in this video, I will show you a detailed guide on how to safely downgrade CapCut to a previous version. Before proceeding, it's important to note that downgrading CapCut may come with limitations. Projects saved in newer versions of the software cannot be opened in older versions. This is due to compatibility issues, as newer versions may introduce file format changes or features that older versions do not support. However, if you have not yet opened a project in the updated version, or if you are willing to recreate or re-export your work, downgrading can restore access to missing features or a preferred interface. CapCut typically stores previous versions in its installation directory. To locate these backups, follow these steps. Begin by finding the CapCut shortcut on your desktop. Right-click on the shortcut and select Properties from the context menu. In the Properties window, click the Open File Location button. This action will open the folder where the current version of CapCut is installed. Once inside the installation directory, look for folders named after older versions of CapCut. These folders are often labeled with version numbers such as 4.1 or 3.3. These represent the backups of previous installations. If you do not see these folders, it's possible that CapCut no longer retains older versions on your system, in which case downgrading may require alternative methods. After identifying the folder for the desired older version, open it and scroll down to locate the CapCut exe file. Double-clicking this file will launch the older version of CapCut. Upon opening, verify the version number by navigating to the Settings menu within the application. This ensures you are running the correct version. To make accessing the older version more convenient, create a desktop shortcut. Right-click the CapCut exe file in the older versions folder, select Create Shortcut and then drag this shortcut to your desktop. Rename the shortcut to avoid confusion, such as CapCut 4.1, so you can easily distinguish between different versions. A critical limitation when downgrading is that projects saved in newer versions cannot be opened in older ones. If you have already opened a project in the updated CapCut, you will need to export it as a video file from the new version and then import that file into the older version. While this allows you to continue editing, be aware that some quality loss may occur due to re-encoding. Additionally, any layered edits or effects will be flattened into the exported video, meaning you cannot modify them individually in the older version. But if you want to know a trick that can help you open a project from the newer version, I put a simple video tutorial in the description of this video. However, for projects that have not been opened in the new version, simply open them directly in the older CapCut to retain full editing capabilities. This is why it's advisable to back up projects before updating the software, ensuring you can revert if needed. Downgrading CapCut can restore functionality, but it's not a perfect solution. Always weigh the pros and cons before proceeding. If a missing feature is critical, consider exploring alternative editing software that meets your needs. Additionally, provide feedback to CapCut's developers about the changes, as they may address concerns in future updates. By following these steps, you can effectively revert to a previous version of CapCut and continue working with the tools and interface you prefer. Remember to back up your projects regularly and avoid opening files in newer versions if you plan to downgrade. With careful management, you can maintain a smooth editing workflow even when updates introduce unwanted changes. For those who found this guide helpful, consider exploring additional tutorials or subscribing to channels dedicated to video editing tips and troubleshooting. Staying informed about software updates and workarounds ensures you can adapt to changes and keep your creative process uninterrupted.